downing dozens of Iranian drones targeting Israel this past weekend. Tehran had warned Amman against joining U.S.-led efforts to support Israel in shooting down its drones and missiles. Iran's armed forces said if Jordan intervened during the attack, it would be the next target. Now later, Jordan summoned the Iranian ambassador over that warning, and officials in Amman insist that Jordan's involvement was a matter of self-defense and protecting its sovereignty, saying that their actions were in fact in line with its own security interests. Yesterday, we dealt with some flying objects that entered our airspace and were confronted to prevent them from endangering the safety of our citizens and populated residential areas. The debris fell in multiple areas during that time without causing any damage or injuries among citizens. We renew and reaffirm that the valiant armed forces, the Arab army, will confront, supported by our security services and competent authorities, anyone who would endanger the security and safety of the nation and citizens and the sanctity of its airspace and territory to any danger or transgression from any quarter and with all available capabilities in this regard. Now, Jordan also said the root cause of the crisis still stems from Israel's treatment of Palestinians and its refusal to accept a two-state solution. But as Iran lashes out at Jordan's actions, its Western allies are in fact defending the kingdom. British Foreign Secretary David Cameron said that Jordan took action quite rightly as a sovereign independent country to keep its people safe. But to many back home, it seemed to be a clear step towards defending Israel. Now the betrayal of Jordan's Air Force and some Israeli media as an ally of the Jewish state has further stoked anger among the people of the kingdom. Now Jordan shares a border with Israel and hosts the largest diaspora of Palestinians and has historically been considered their greatest supporter in the region. Jordan's leaders, however, have been highly critical of Israel's war in Gaza. And King Abdullah has even backed efforts to organize aid airdrops inside the Palestinian enclave. And Queen Rania has also delivered multiple speeches and statements in defense of the Palestinians. However, over the last few weeks, the kingdom has also witnessed multiple protests with thousands demonstrating outside the United States Embassy in Amman against Washington's support of Israel. The military intervention over the weekend sparked outrage as images depicting King Abdullah as a traitor wearing the Israeli flag were seen on social media.